everybody and welcome to Live Interactive English. I am your host, Shane. And I am Karen. Today we are looking at a lesson called The Influence of the Industrial Revolution on Impressionist Art. Wow, that was a mouthful. So we are talking about Impressionist Art today. Well, I just happen to have um, a blank slate. Uh-huh. And uh, some markers here. So I'm going to work on some impressionist art while we discuss this. So uh, you go, go you ahead. You're kidding yes. me, Shane. Yeah. Are you saying that you can create oh, impressionist art course. using a whiteboard and some markers? Of course. <gasps> Of I course. am very, very are impressed. You, are you, in, are you uh, an artist or do you enjoy art? Well, I am an art lover, of oh, course. Are you? But I, can I cannot create impressionist art with a whiteboard and markers. Wow. So, can you tell us who are some of your favorite hmm. impressionist artists? Well, I would say that probably one of my favorites has got to be Monet. Okay. Monet. And I know Monet. Yes, and Monet and uh, Manet. Uh. Man <laughs> That's for real. Manet it's, and Monet. There's Monet and Manet. They're probably the two most famous impressionists. Um, Renoir. Wow. Renoir is a really good one too. Uh -huh. um, and uh, those are my. I'd say those are my top three. Yeah. I never knew that you were very artistic, oh, Shane. Oh God, <gasps> I am just like uh, I'm amazing, an amazing artist. Okay, I have to tell you, I am truly impressed. So, are you done your impressionist art? Are you ready to show everyone? Well, I'm get, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Okay, a little bit there, a little bit okay. there, no, wait, 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 there, there, and all right, and done. Can I see? Can I? What do you think it is? Is it water? And? And? Sunset? Sunset. See? Oh. What impression did that give you? See, that is the key of impressionism. I actually, I can tell, Shane. I am really impressed. <laughs> wow. You are impressed by my impressionism. That's right. Let's get into it. The Industrial Revolution, which took place from the late 18th century to mid-19th century, brought about extreme changes in Europe. As Great Britain turned to new production methods, life began to change. This change was captured in the works of famous Impressionist painters Claude Monet and William Turner. Researchers studied 98 paintings by Monet and Turner and noticed that the changes in their styles corresponded with the dramatic changes in the world at the time. Both Monet and Turner were known for their sharp, colorful paintings. But as the Industrial Revolution led to more factories, and more factories led to pollution, both artists' paintings changed. looking at a lesson called the influence of the industrial revolution on impressionist art Excellent. right so the industrial revolution this is in like the late 18th century mm -hmm. mid to late 19th century and it, it started in England right that's right right um, so let's take a look so the industrial revolution which took place from the late 18th century to mid 19th century, brought about extreme changes in Europe. So basically it's really going from having like farming and doing like handicrafts, like those were like what people did as jobs. That's right. And that's how they produced things. Mm -hmm. And machines got introduced in factories and it really changed everything it changed the way how people how products are made right yeah, and not just that it really influenced society mm -hmm. continuing as great britain turned to new production methods life began to change mm, certainly change dramatically yeah everyone's jobs everyone's lives right? right and this change was captured in the works of famous impressionist painters claude monet and william turner so these famous artists, they certainly captured yeah. this change they in the society. Captured the change, like you, what, you 
capture a criminal, capture an animal? What, no. How do you capture a, a change? Well, you know, they are artists, right? They create ah. paintings. So they capture these things in their paintings. So in the paintings oh, they see. created, people can see the changes in the society. Got it. So you see it in their painting. In that sense, they captured it and then painted it. Exactly. Ah. Researchers studied 98 paintings by Monet and Turner and noticed that the changes in their styles corresponded with the dramatic changes in the world at the time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a researcher is a person who does, wait for it, mm -hmm. research. <laughs> so somebody who does research is called a researcher. So mm -hmm. what is research? Mm -hmm. It's the process of solving problems and finding facts in an organized way. That's right. So, for example, you could say the researcher carried out the study over several months. Mm -hmm. And we also have this vocabulary word here, correspond. Mm -hmm. And that is a verb. It means to match something or to be similar or equal to something. So, for mm -hmm. example, how long you spend studying for an exam will correspond directly to your grade. So if you spend a lot of time studying, then you will get a very good grade. Mm -hmm. If you spend a little time studying, you'll get a low grade. Exactly. Right? Okay. So continuing, both Monet and Turner were known for their sharp, colorful paintings. Mm -hmm. But as the Industrial Revolution led to more factories, and more factories led to pollution, mm. both artists' paintings changed. Wow, so I would certainly imagine maybe the colors of their paintings changed as well, right? Yes. Because when you think of pollution, mm. it's like making the air all dirty and gray, right? It's gonna look a lot different if you notice like a sunset mm -hmm. in a polluted city where like I grew up in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. We had very incredible sunsets. The mm -hmm. colors were quite spectacular, but they were also kind of hazy. They're, ah. they're not very clear, the sunsets. That's right. But yeah, it's quite different. And I think for an artist, it, that's not necessarily bad, mm -hmm. but it's certainly bad for the environment. Exactly. And that's why their paintings have certainly changed, right? Right. Hmm. Okay, why don't we take a little break and we'll see you back in a few months. See you soon. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天的课程主题是工业革命对印象派艺术的影响。我们先补充一下 ，Impressionism 就是印象派。那么 Impressionist 它可以指印象派画家，那么也可以摆在名词前面来当做修饰。好，那工业革命为欧洲带来很大的变化。随着英国开始采用新的生产方式，那么生活开始改变，而这个变化呢，也被描绘在知名印象派画家 Claude Mo。内和 William Turner 作品当中，好，那么研究人员就研究了这两位画家的九十八幅画作，就注意到他们画风的改变跟当时世界的剧烈变化有相对应。那他们都是以色彩鲜明的绘画闻名。可是随着这个工业革命导致更多工厂设立，进而导致污染，他们的画作也都发生了变化。哎。好，我们先来看单字 researcher。researcher 就表示这个研究员啊，或者是调查员。correspond。correspond 这个动词它表示符合或是相对应，我们可以用 correspond with 加名词去表达与什么相符相对应。那刚刚在讲到这个新的生产方式时 ，Shane 老师他提到 farming 就是在 farm 后面加 ing， 那这个名词可以指农场的经营啊，或者是务农的意思。还有提到 handicraft h a n d i c r a f t handicraft 表示手工艺品。老师刚刚还有聊到他的家乡洛杉矶的日落，美得令人赞叹，可是看起来似乎有一点雾蒙蒙的。好，那老师用到 spectacular 这个形容词 ，s p e c t a c u l a r， spectacular 可以形容壮观的、壮丽或是令人惊叹的。那他也用到 hazy， h a z y， hazy 可以形容是雾蒙蒙的或是模糊不清的。好，这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看这个重点是片语动词 bring about， 它表示造成、导致或是引起。我们可以用 bring about something 或者是 bring something about 去表达。举例来说。
What brought about her change of mind? 是什么造成她改变心意的呢？那补充一下 ，lead to 和 result in 也可以表达造成、导致。举例来说 ，bad eating habits may lead to various health problems. 不良饮食习惯可能会导致各种不同的健康问题。接华课文中。Paintings that were once clear and colorful became gloomy and white. Researchers discovered that the way light was reflected through air pollution particles caused distant objects to appear foggier and whiter. Monet's and Turner's artwork had previously been seen as purely impressionistic. However, they were just painting the world based on their observations, which made their art realistic. Monet once said. The richness I achieve comes from nature, the source of my inspiration. And as nature around him changed, so did his inspiration, resulting in precious glimpses into our past. Welcome back, everybody. So before the break, we learned a little bit about a couple of impressionist painters, Monet、mm -hmm. and Turner. That's right. And we noticed, or we learned, that as the Industrial Revolution was coming, happening,、mm -hmm. their impressionist art began to change、exactly. as things changed. In their environment,、mm -hmm. and we're going to learn a little bit more about how those their paintings changed.、Mm -hmm. Paintings that were once clear and colorful became gloomy、mm. and white. So remember, we talked about how you know Monet and also Turner's painting, and then they changed because of the pollution that was happening、right. due to the Industrial Revolution. And we know that pollution will probably cause a lot of you know dirty air around right. us, right? So the colors, of course, started changing. And researchers discovered that the way light was reflected through air pollution particles caused distant objects to appear foggier and whiter. Yeah, that makes sense. So the basically the particles in the pollution are going to scatter the light、mm -hmm. differently, which is going to definitely affect what you see.、Mm -hmm. And what we know about impressionists is they are very very. Focused and they care about light. That's right. And it's something that's very important to their artwork.、Mm -hmm. Is how lighting affects objects and your surroundings. That's right. So reflect. We have reflect is a verb,、mm -hmm. which means to bend、mm -hmm. or throw back waves of light, sound, or heat. So, for example, the light reflected off the face. Of Glenn's watch.、Mm. I have a watch here. Let me see if I can reflect your face on there. Oh, oh, oh. see, do you see her? I, I think I think I do. Yeah, the light reflected, and we can see. Oh, I can see myself. Wow. Okay, and back to the article. Oh, sorry, I, sorry, I get distracted so easily. Okay, so Monet's and Turner's artwork had previously been seen as purely impressionistic.、Mm -hmm. However, they were just painting the world based on their observations. Which made their art realistic, because、ah. a lot of times we look at some of like maybe Monet's paintings, and it's not realistic in the sense that it looks like a photograph. Exactly. So it's an impression that you get, but、mm -hmm. it doesn't look like a photograph would look. It's not that realistic. What、mm -hmm. does that mean if something's realistic? Well, if something is realistic, that's an adjective. It means just to be able to see something exactly as they really are. Right. Right. Like how you draw it, it looks exactly like a photograph. Right.、Mm. So, for example, Valerie's drawing is so realistic that I thought it was a photograph.、Right. So that's not the style. Of impressionism. Yeah, but if we're talking about what's realistic,、mm. it's what you observe. That's right. And part of your observations are going to be based on environmental factors and even subjective factors,、mm -hmm. right? And these things are going to basically they're going to be part of your world and what you see. That's right. Okay, so continuing. So Monet once said. The richness I achieve comes from nature, the source of my inspiration.、Mm. And as nature around him changed, 
so did his inspiration, resulting in precious glimpses into our past. Okay, so these artists, they really have helped us understand the period of time when the society and our world was changing, right? Based right. on their observation, how they observed the world. And it's quite interesting is that you can almost feel things different. Like if you're looking at, you know, you're outside and the weather's gloomy, for yes. example. Gloomy just kind of means it's only a little bit depressing and dark and doesn't feel good. If that gets reflected in the paintings, that actually gives us a little bit of a glimpse mm -hmm. into maybe the emotional state of how people were changing as this pollution is affecting their environment. That's right. So what's glimpse? So a glimpse is to take a brief look mm -hmm. or to see momentarily or maybe not completely, just incompletely. That's right. So for example, you could say the movie offers a glimpse into a future in which money no longer exists. Ooh. Okay. So, so, we have a what do you think question here. That's right. And the question is, do you think artists have a responsibility to reflect the changes happening in society in their art? Why or why not? Well, I don't think artists have a responsibility to reflect what's happening in society. Mm -hmm. I think that they end up doing that quite naturally. Yes. But I don't think they have a responsibility responsibility that's right to do that so you kind of agree I do agree with you I don't think that they have a responsibility to do that but however they may choose to do so because everyone's sure. style is different everyone's works of art is different they can choose to do that and then we can actually see the changes in the society right yes, everybody has their own perspective and I think and everybody's different and unique and I think an artist what they're really doing is kind of just like taking out their soul and mm -hmm. putting it out on a piece of paper or what's in their mind or in their heart. That's right. Right? And then whatever they're observing or seeing, that's what they put down. But it's not because I have a responsibility to do this. That's right. They want to express themselves through their art, right? This is a really interesting topic. That's right. But that's all the time we have for, for today. So, you know, get out there and do some art. All right. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Claude Monet and William Turner 光线透过空气污染粒子反射的方式造成了远方的物体看起来更加的雾茫茫更加苍白那这两位画家作品呢以前是被视为是纯粹的印象派可是他们其实只是根据自己的观察来描绘世界那这就使得他们的艺术其实
态是要配合前方子句的动词一做变化，那么单复数则是配合后方的主词二来做变化。听起来有点复杂，我们来看看例句哦。As the weather got worse, so did his mood. 随着天气变差，他的心情也是。那由于前方子句是过去式，所以我们 so 后面的助动词就是用过去式 did。那因为这里不管主词单复数，我们都是用 did， 所以就不影响喽。好，那以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。The Industrial Revolution, which took place from the late 18th century to mid 19th century, brought about extreme changes in Europe. As Great Britain turned to new production methods, life began to change. This change was captured in the works of famous Impressionist painters Claude Monet and William Turner. Researchers studied 98 paintings by Monet and Turner and noticed that the changes in their styles corresponded. With the dramatic changes in the world at the time, both Monet and Turner were known for their sharp, colorful paintings. But as the Industrial Revolution led to more factories, and more factories led to pollution, both artists' paintings changed. Paintings that were once clear and colorful became gloomy and white. Researchers discovered that the way light was reflected through air pollution particles. Cause distant objects to appear foggier and whiter. Monet's and Turner's artwork had previously been seen as purely impressionistic. However, they were just painting the world based on their observations, which made their art realistic. Monet once said, "The richness I achieve comes from nature, the source of my inspiration." And as nature around him changed, so did his inspiration. Resulting in precious glimpses into our past. Taichung Park is a lush, well-shaded recreational area that provides local residents with an ideal location for leisurely strolls. The park is home to the beautiful Huqing Pavilion on Sun Moon Lake. Little boats often surround the pavilion, creating a picturesque scene. Therefore, it is a long-standing attraction for local and foreign tourists, and is often seen on postcards and stamps. Taichung Park was built in 1903. It was part of the urban redevelopment plan initiated by the Japanese colonial government. The plan entailed the construction of a street grid and parklands, encompassing the entire rolling hillside of Fortress Hill. The sunken wetlands of Fortress Hill were later converted into the two bodies of water that form Sun Moon Lake. Huqing Pavilion was built to accommodate Prince Kanin Kotohito, who came to Taiwan to host the launch of the Crossway Railway in 1908. It has since become immensely popular. The pavilion's elegant curves and pointy roofs create a contrasting image to its surrounding greenery. And the floating platform on which the pavilion rests is now a landmark of Taichung Park. The Taichung city government even designed its symbol based on the pavilion. Taichung Park contains many historic sites and rare trees. You can circle the park to take in the beautiful scenery and enjoy the soft breeze. Climb Fortress Hill towards Taiwan Castle North Gate. Or visit Broadcast Station and Victory Monument to learn about Taichung's history. You can even rent a small boat to navigate on the lake or under the beautiful Arch Bridge, thereby enjoying the beauty of the park from a different angle.